We can graph this one, y equals x minus 2 over x, in two ways. I'll show you both. Um, usually when I show you multiple methods, I sort of tell you I prefer this one over this one. I think this is one of the cases where you really, regardless of whether you prefer one or the other, you've got to learn both, okay? And that's part of why it's called addition and subtraction of ordinates, okay? But I think as I show you um, how I go through it, I think you'll probably be able to tell which one I prefer, but I'll leave it up to you, okay? So, here we go on the left-hand side. Because I had the same two component functions as before, the difference is just the sign, okay? I've graphed the two same component functions. Actually, I just left the same graph on there, okay? So what do I do? Now, subtraction thinks in reverse to addition, right? So, for instance, when you think about what's happening over here, right? You remember I said, okay, I'm going to be close to this y equals x line, but I'll be a bit underneath, right? Well, subtraction reverses what's happening, right? So instead of going a bit underneath, because this line is negative, uh, it's a double negative, right? So it's subtracting a negative, which is addition, right? So I'm actually going to be above this line, this asymptote. Still going to be an asymptote, but I'm going to be above, okay? Now, as I progress towards the right, towards this vertical asymptote, what's happening? Um, I've got this line here, and I'm subtracting a very big negative. Think about that, subtracting a big negative, which is the same as adding a big positive. Right? So I'm going to be skyrocketing up towards the asymptote at the top instead of at the bottom. Okay? Now I've got a negative here, a positive here, and I have no discontinuities in between here. Right? No discontinuities, I've got to go from negative to positive. That means I'm passing through the axis. Okay? Now, where do you pass through the axis? If I'm subtracting one from another, I pass through the axis when it's at zero. Right? That's where the axis is. So I should be at zero when these two things are equal, right? When this is equal to that, the whole thing will be zero. And I can see where this is equal to that. It's called the point of intersection between these two components, okay? So I look here, and if you want, you can, you can draw up a vertical line. And I say that point of intersection corresponds to an intercept, okay? And now I've got three points. I think that's enough to see the behavior. So. There's the graph on the left-hand side. Okay, and as we noticed before, these are still the same odd functions. So on the right-hand side, I'm going to get the same thing, but flipped. Right, so here we go. Okay, now, unlike our previous function, this graph has intercepts, as we just pointed out. Okay, so you want to actually make sure you label what those are. Um, I think if you crunch the algebra, you should get plus or minus root 2. Okay, now, what's the alternative way? Here we go. Over here, what have I done? I've drawn y equals x is the same, okay? Because that's the, um, the function over here. But I haven't drawn 2 over x. Um, I've drawn negative 2 over x, right? So what I'm doing is I'm considering this graph as y equals x plus minus 2 over x, right? So even though there's, it's subtraction, I'm considering it as addition, right? Addition of a, it just happens to be a negative function, okay? So that's why I've got these in place. And now I think in the same terms that I did in the first example. Okay? So for instance, down here, okay, y equals x. This is a big value and this is a little one. So I think about this one first. I'm here and I have to add a little positive value. So I'm here plus a little bit, right? As I get closer here, both of these values are increasing, right? This one's going closer to zero, but this one's going off to infinity. So off it goes, up to infinity. Okay? You can see it's climbing. Now, where are these two going to cross the, inter the, um, the axis? Well, this one's negative, this one's positive, right? So when they're roughly the same distance, well, not roughly, when they're exactly the same distance, negative and positive, they will cancel out, right? So, I mean, somewhere like here, okay? So now I've got my same three points that I did before. Uh, that's a bit wonky, sorry about that. You get the idea, okay? Uh, I've got the same intercept here, uh, sorry, asymptote here, and the same asymptote there. And of course, because it's odd, I can use the same logic. Okay, so which method you use if you do real subtraction, or if you do cheapo subtraction, which is really addition, is, is up to you. Okay, just remember which one you're doing, okay, because the, there's nothing worse than starting one way, and then using the methods of another way, like, ooh, this is positive, I should add a bit. It's like, well, no, this is the subtraction graph, right? So you choose which one. Okay.